everyone, and welcome to Go to Market AI, the future of your go to market tech stack. I'm your host, Sarah McConnell. These days, it seems like every company has AI, but on this show, we want to go a level deeper so you can see firsthand how businesses are actually applying AI to solve your business challenges. We're going deep into use cases and showing you live demos of the latest and greatest in AI technology. Today, I'm really excited to be joined by Molly Bruckman, head of growth marketing at Muni. Molly, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you on. I love Mutiny's product. I know other marketers have been raving about what y'all are doing, so I'm really excited to see your guys' AI offering. But before we jump into the demo, I would love to just hear from you a quick, who is Mutiny, what do you guys do, and who are you helping? Uh, B2B marketers use Mutiny to quickly and efficiently generate pipeline across channels and activities that they're already investing in. So their website, paid media, account-based marketing, and more. Mutiny plugs into your company's data and your website to identify who's on your site, who you should target, um, where you should target them, and what you should say. So Mutiny's AI automates that tedious process of ideation, content creation, and experimentation to make all of that really, really easy for you. Um, over 150 million people have actually seen an experience Mutiny has personalized on the web, and that lets us see what's working for different audiences like telecom companies or large enterprises. So for example, a tech startup founder that comes to your site would see different messaging, different features, different pricing, and different social proof than an engineer from Bank of America would see on your site. Absolutely. So with that being said, I would love to see this in action because I think your product is so, so cool. So Molly, can we see a demo of Mutiny's AI functionality? Yeah. Absolutely. So, oops. So here um, is kind of our inbound dashboard. This gives you a summary of what you have running already. And so in this case, um, this is, of course, all like demo fake made up data. But we have three segments that are running right now, a segment for startups, a se segment for B2B tech and a segment for large enterprise visitors. And this data comes from first and third party data sources like Clearbit, Sixth Sense, um, your CRM data like Salesforce, HubSpot, Marketo, um, marketing automation data, and um, and then also like ad campaign data, what ads you're running, um, and CRM data or CDP, uh, whatever acronym you can think of, oh, yeah. there's probably <laughs> <laughs> um, ARR, ACV, it's all in here. Um, but yeah, basically, you can combine any of that data that you have integrated to build segments and target visitors that are coming to your site. Um, so I want to walk through creating a new experience. So I'll start here with creating an experience. And this is kind of the first place you start to see the AI magic of Mutiny starting to show up. So these kind of purple recommendations. Um, what we're going to do to start creating our experiences first, set our goal then choose the page that we want to target, and then choose the segment that we want to target. Um, and so as we kind of select these things, we can see a data estimate on this right-hand panel telling us if we want to increase this goal on these pages for this segment, how many visitors are we going to be targeting, what is their conversion rate, and how many additional conversions can we expect to see. Um, in this account, I only have all conversions as a goal, <laughs> but of course, if you like really had your account set up, you might have demo request, you might have free trial sign up, you might have blog um, conversions or web or um, like white paper download, something like yeah. that. But I'll just choose all conversions, um, and then I get to see the pages that I can target. So Mutiny is recommending front.com, front.com slash product and then uh, team slash customer support teams. So these recommendations are the first place you start to see the AI come out. Um, without this, the processes like marketers have to come up with, who should I target? Where should I do it? Like there's so many possibilities for, for what you might want to target. It's hard to kind of prioritize. Um, so Mutiny is bringing in context on which pages are you putting paid dollars behind? Um, which pages have a lot of visitors who aren't seeing personalization today? Which visitor? Which pages are having, um, like, have high conversion potential? Which have, um, like, different? You know, which are generally higher converting or lower converting pages? So, for instance, like, your sign up page is much higher converting than your blog pages, and so we can weight those accordingly. Um, 
If you didn't want to choose one of Mutiny's recommendations, you can drop this down. You can see all of your pages and the associated data on visitors, conversions, potential impact you have here, and you can kind of see why these are um, ranked the way that they are. I think this is really cool with the recommendation AI in particular, because I think about as teams get larger, when you think about where information is housed within like an enterprise size marketing team, for someone that's using Mutiny, you kind of made the point earlier of you kind of have to decide if you don't have this recommendation AI of like, okay, like what pages do I want to do it on? I have to go back and look at all this historical data of conversions and try to piece it together. And if it's a large team, there could be different people that know different information and you have to go hunt all of this down. And I love that Muni's just bringing that all front and center. So no matter who's working on the product, no matter who's setting up this experiment, it's going to recommend that for you based on a bunch of data that you would typically have to spend a bunch of time finding in your systems and that might be spread around um, across a bunch of different people on your team. So this is one of my favorite parts of AI, and I love to see it brought to life here in Muni. Yeah, absolutely. And and I used to do that. I've been in the conversion optimization space for, I don't know, 10 years or something. Um, and so and I started as an analyst and my job was like pull a bunch of data, do website analysis, come up with frameworks, figure out where we should target and um, like figure out the perfect way all these experiments stack together so we can optimize like how we're running the program. And it takes months to do yeah. that really well. And so to bring this all this type of speed and rigor and analysis and just let you start without that panic, um, <laughs> which of course, you know, like we're for have analysts, right? Yeah. Um, it's, it's a huge like up. Um, and then you get, like, as you click around here, you get to see these recommendations change. We'll pull up that screenshot of your site so we can start to think, oh, how would I personalize on this page? What ideas might I have? Um, how much impact can I drive? You can also say, you know, maybe you don't think you can get a 20% lift or maybe you're like, this page is horrible. I think I can double conversion rate. You can kind of adjust that there and um, and see the that impact change here as well. So I'm going to choose uh, front.com. I always like to start on the homepage. I just think, you know, you can see it has the most traffic and it's generally the broadest. So let's start there. Um, and then you can see the, the segments here. And I don't know if you caught it, but the segments change based on what you select for the page too. So we're kind of reshuffling and reanalyzing based on what we see. Um, so segments have some similar logic here in terms of the the AI recommendations. Again, we're going to be looking at those um, number of unpersonalized visitors, the number of um, you know potential impacts that we can drive, which is which is basically like the conversion rate plus this lift that you think you can achieve. So you can see that changes. I scale it around, um, uh, and then in addition to kind of those components, we're also looking at your ICP. So we do an ICP mapping during onboarding, so we know what's important to you. Um, we look at where you're again, like where you're spending paid traffic. We're looking at uh, just generally high value segments like enterprise or um, high intent visitors, for example, like high intent segment here. So I'll choose high intent. Um, and then I will choose create experience type. So now's the fun part. Now you get to actually like design your experience, which is really fun. So the high intent experience for your homepage. Um, we have a number of different experience types here. Page content. This means anything on the page is fair game. You want to change the headline, the images, the CTAs, anything like that. You can change that here. Um, but we also have components you can add. So you can add a banner, you can add a side pop. We've got some surveys, we've got redirects. So a lot of different types of experiences that you can you can build here. Um, but I'm just going to choose page content for now because it's the most fun one to demo. <laughs> and um, and you can see this purple box here, like as I hover around, um, all of this is, is editable now. Um, so I can start reimagining the experience um and this is uh this is where kind of like ai comes in as your co-pilot as your little like assistant buddy to help you with copywriting um which is really helpful because this is another big blocker so like oh shoot what do i actually say um and we have some pre pre-built like shortcuts you can also put in whatever prompt you want but you could say i want to change the tone to action-oriented, FOMO-inducing, playful, professional. Like maybe we try FOMO-inducing and it'll rewrite a headline for us that sort of keeps this 
the same vibe of what we have today. Um, the really cool thing about Muni's AI versus just like taking the same thing and putting it into ChatGPT is Muni's AI is trained on your website content. So because the script's on your site, we have now scraped everything. So we know how you talk about your company, your products. Um, we know your language, your tone. And so these tend to be much more out of the box on brand than um, than what you get out of ChatGPT. But of course, like, I don't know that they'd say, join front now. Probably not. Um, <laughs> of course, you can always like try again. Um, and it usually gives you like a few different options that you can try there too. Um, and then if you like it, you can click apply. You can see how it looks and you can continue to adjust it. Um, but I could also say something like, um, this is our high intent audience. So like tailor this for um, visitors ready to buy. We'll see what it comes up with here. I love that there's constant prompts to keep editing the AI so you can keep playing with it. Like it to the like, make it shorter, you know, change the tone, remove the jargon. Like it can give you a starting place and then you can keep applying over and over until you get somewhere you like or use it as a starting point. Because I think you said it earlier, it's totally right. One of the hardest things of getting any edits on your website is involving the entire team and knowing where to start. Like it's always so much harder to start with just a blank piece of paper and start from scratch than to have AI give you these like generated ideas. It's learning from your entire website. It knows your brand. It knows your tone. And then you can edit it from there. Short of like, I know what I've worked on landing pages before and I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> where, where to work where chart. Yeah, absolutely. And and the like, just where do you start and and how do you do better than what you have? Or, you know, how do you think about this audience or that audience? So I love this, like, tailor this for visitors or tailor this per segment. Um, actually, by the time this comes out, I think that's going to be built into the presets too. that just totally. is a button you can click to tailor to segment, which will be really helpful. Um, yeah, so you can you can edit the text really easily. Um, you can also like maybe we want to say for high intent visitors, I want to remove all of these distractions. Um, and so we can actually just delete like the navigation. So now they're kind of stuck here. Maybe I also know that these guys are not existing customers, so they don't need to sign in. I can get rid of that too. Um, and maybe I think high intent visitors need more urgency. So I want to add now, get started now. Um, and see how that does. So you can like really, really quickly just tailor the content and and start customizing for that audience in particular. I think I know this is what Muti is so well known for. And I think this is just my favorite part of your product that I've seen is instead of having to create all these different landing pages, like I just think I've been in marketing to your point, like 10 plus years and the amount of time it takes to just keep doing, okay, I've got to have a landing page for high intent and I'll have a landing page for enterprise. I'll have a landing page for this. And to be able to just have to rebrand where you have to build up down where it all is. What pages do I even have? Like I can't even keep track of them anymore. And the ability to just change it here and not have to get web development involved. Like we have a great web dev team at Qualified. We love them, but like it is time consuming to get something to them, have them change things. So to be able to give marketers the ability to run these experiments and tests and make changes quickly without involving web development, I think is just so cool. Yeah, absolutely. And and I know another like place where you get into the endless, I don't know if you want to call it microsites, but like the endless like tailored pages for all of your target accounts, for example, um, that an is another place where you can like spend all these web dev effort on like creating one to one pages for a target mm -hmm. account. Um, I'm not going to demo today, but Mutiny also has the ability to like create those one-on-one -on -one pages at scale using variableization and and logic to um, actually actively create all of those different versions for you. Um, great. And then maybe, um, maybe I think this is cool, but I had another idea, like I hate this video and I want to see what it looks like without it. Um, I can create a second variation too that says like move a video. Um, and let me just rename this one to... Um, updated copy. So this one, I I think it just like pushes my content down too much maybe. So I want to delete that there. I can delete this box it is. And now I get to bring up these value props much higher on the page. Great. 
So I will, um, I'm happy with my experiences. Now I can review this. I can call this um, high intent homepage changes. If I wanted to set some tags, I could add tags to it um, and review kind of my settings here, which all look good. I can see these different variations. It gives me kind of a summary of what I've changed. I can like quickly see that preview here on the right too. Um, and if it all looks good, I can hit launch. So that is, again, like that's a process that I think in the past is like weeks, months. If you have your own yeah. in-house testing, team, maybe you're launching a test a month, but you can easily in minutes like go from ideation to launch with. Really hmm. That only took a few minutes. And to your point, that would have taken even a really small agile team that would have taken weeks. By the time you got copy written, you decided you looked at old data, you decided what experience you even wanted to run. Yeah, that would have taken a really long time. So it's amazing that you could do it that quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is this is now my baking show <laughs> piece where I'm like, put one in the oven, pull out the one I started earlier. So um, for example, like this, this B2B tech segment that was already running to give you just a sense for the analytics that we track in Mutiny, we get to see the performance over time between these different variations. We can break it down by other segments that you have or device types so we can drill down that data really granularly. Um, and then we can also see um, visitor engagement. So we can see like session length impact, bounce rate impact, repeat visitors. So all of that data that you really want to drill into, you can take a look at um, in a lot of detail, as well as looking at which conversions, you know, what was the impact on different conversions you have set up, which companies viewed this, this site and who converted from, from each company as well. Amazing. Um. Of course, that's like experience level analytics. We also have kind of program level analytics too, where we can plug into your CRM and pull in all of your deal data, which obviously as B2B marketers, we know like it's not a web conversion. It's like a series of activities across web, across, you know, sales conversations, events, all of these different things. And attribution i'm not, <laughs> not gonna start that open that can of worm about attribution like but, a hour long episode it'll take a real turn <laughs> um but we do pull in data on basically anyone who has viewed experiences and then were associated with opportunities in your crm crm and you can customize this to you know whatever attribution criteria you want so if you had an impression or a personalized impression, any impression, first impression, last impression, how many days before the deal was created um, or deal was closed or won or lost. So you can really like filter this down to find um, to find out what you're looking for. And you can filter to what segment they were part of, what experiences they saw, what stage in your funnel they're at. So you can, you can use this to build the report you want. Um, and we're sending the data back into your CRM also so that you can do that analysis alongside all, all of your other programs as well. This is really cool. As a marketer, I really appreciate how many different filters that you can apply here because I think sometimes out of the box, it can be really easy to look in products and see like a really high level, but get down to that nitty gritty of like, okay, I'm, I'm particularly interested in like this business segment or, you know, we know our deal cycles and like our conversion rates. It, we want to look 30 days before the op was open versus seven days. So the ability to put all of those filters in to get a really good like clean look at influence pipeline as someone who spends a lot of time looking at pipeline data i very much appreciate this yeah um and i'm sure you can imagine it wasn't the first version that we released yeah. but our customers quickly told us never we need that. never on the first time. <laughs> yeah um oh yeah but that was fun um Cool. Well, the the um, the last thing I wanted to show is our playbooks, which I think is also like a really special part of Mutiny. Um, and this is uh, not AI generated. However, <laughs> um, another really good place to just get inspiration for types of experiences that you can launch. Um, and there are real experiences from our customers that you can um, you can filter by which marketing program you're trying to move the needle on, what type of experience or which segments you want to target, what data source you're using. So you can kind of um, drill down to find examples and get inspired by others in the community. Um, so you can even click in, you can see 
personalization on and off. You can see what changed. You can see the impact that this could actually drive for you. So for example, if I launch this for my enterprise segment, which is anyone with more than a thousand employees, that's 11,000 visitors on my site. If I get the same lift they got, that's 800 more leads for me. Like this might be really good and I can create that experience right away. I love this part of your guys's product, even if it's not AI, which I know that's what the show is about. But I still think this is so cool to bring in actual real use cases from customers, have almost like a community pre-built into your product. So I'm not going back and forth. I'm not having to go find it off site. Like it's it's right here. It's right in your UI. And then adding that customization to the right hand side of like, hey, if you use this play here, so it's going to impact you. This is this is really, really cool. I love this. Yeah. It's so helpful for new customers who are, you know, they love personalization. They like the idea of it, but they're, you know, maybe stuck on what I actually do or can you show me examples from other customers? Now they don't have to like wait for a meeting with a CSM that's right at their fingertips. They can they can do this. We also have our own community, um, M2 community, which I also manage. um, And, you know, they can then say like, oh, Benoit from Livestorm did that. Would you introduce me to him? And, you know, we can facilitate some connections there and they can chat about their experiences. Yeah, the M2 community has been great. I've been in there and you guys do a really fantastic job with that community. So I love that it's all tied together with with your product here. And I will say, besides the AI part of the demo, you guys just always have such a good UI experience in here. Like it's so easy to navigate. It looks so good as a marketer. I appreciate all of your branding and how simple it is to use your product. So you guys have just done such a good job of building this out. Thank you so much. Well, with that being said, Molly, this was a great demo. Thank you so much for taking us through this. I love what y'all are doing over there, over there at Mutiny, but I would love to transition now into our lightning round Q&A if you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Hit me. Okay, so question one, how long have you guys been building AI into Mutiny's product? We've been working with AI for a few years. I think the release of GPT-4 in March really changed what we were able to do, though, with AI. Um, And so really helped us refine our models for high converting web copy generation and enhanced uh, segment and page recommendations that I was showing. Yeah, absolutely. And then is what you showed today in your demo, is this generally available now for customers if they were to buy Mutiny tomorrow? Um, It will be by the time this comes out. Yes, all of this will be available. Awesome. And then who are some of your current customers that are benefiting from Mutiny's AI functionality? We work with forward-thinking B2B companies, primarily high-tech space. So companies like Snowflake, Qualtrics, Segment, Carta, Amplitude, Sixth Sense um, are some of our great customers. And by adopting AI on their websites, they are able to see 25% increases pretty quickly within their first few months of using the product. Um, and actually, we're seeing customers who are adopting our the AI features of Mutiny, because of course, you can use Mutiny without these, you know, you can have your own idea of what page and what segment and what to write. You can do all of that on your own manually. But our customers that are using the AI powered experiences are saving hours of manual work um, and are converting 70% more customers than those who aren't using those features. So um, really, really helps with with speed and agility and and like comparatively, like our customers generally are launching at least 10 experiences in their first couple weeks of being a customer, which I think um, is just unprecedented for starting a new program of, of any sort otherwise. Totally. Those are incredible statistics. So that is that's great to hear. And then my last question for you is what are some other AI products that Uni team is using and loving in your go to market team? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, we just wrapped up um, our first season of Survivor. Um, yes, it was so cool, by the way. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, everyone's like, how do you say it? I've only it makes sense when you write it. But um, yeah, it's like serve AI ver sur- survivor. Sur- <laughs> just if if it, you have to try to be uncomfortable saying it is that's yes. the right thing. But, but we need um, AI fun. We have to. It's yeah. just. Yes, I had way too much fun with those puns. Like um, we had, as part of it, we had um, a bonus point AI land <laughs> as part of it to keep in the theme. But um, but yeah, it uh, it was, for those of you who don't know, it was a gamified educational experience that taught marketers workflows using AI. We had uh, almost 4,000 players who watched 12 episodes, competed in challenges, and there was a grand prize of $10,000. It was so much fun. 
content's still available. Um, so if you missed it, you can still catch up and watch it. But um, really showing those real workflows. I learned so much from from running that program just about these different AI workflows. Really helped me up-level my own skills. Um, I co-hosted an episode actually with one of our customers, Alexa from Pendo, and we used a GPT plugin in Google Sheets to build out an experimentation program operating system in TestQ. So I learned so much from doing that for myself, from the other hosts, um, learned about a lot of new tools like Reggie for outbound personalization, Opus for video clips, um, Ideogram for ad creative, and then of course, like the classics, ChatGPT, MidJourney, just better ways of of using those things. Um, I'd say my favorite lately is like playing with creating the GPTs, like custom GPTs. So I built one for um, uh, creating our mutiny has a raccoon mascot named Achu. Yeah. If you don't know about him, you are probably not on LinkedIn because <laughs> he's a real work. Um, but I, I created a GPT to create Achu in whatever like situation you want so it creates like really consistent versions of him and and that's been so fun so we just launched a mean girls campaign i created every <laughs> epic scene of like um you know the aaron samuels turned around or the mathletes competition or the halloween costume so all of those um i just had so much fun with with building that that is such a good answer and i have seen those your mascot images across linkedin and i still remember him in hiking gear because I remember seeing the image and he was like somewhere and he was hiking and he looked like he was having such a good time. And I was like, this is a reminder I need to go outside. <laughs> so I have seen your images. They're so much fun. Yeah. Um, well, Molly, thank you so much for joining us on Go to Market AI. This was such a fun episode and I loved having you on the show. So thank you so much for joining us today. Uh-huh.